just recently, um, we had a bit of a tragedy on the homestead. Mm -hmm. Our Nubian goat, Peanut, it was her second time having babies, she ended up miscarrying twins. There is a short video of the babies and the mama and everything else that we are going to play after this, right after we're done. And it and is quite gruesome, so if you've got young children around, you well, may... It's not gruesome some people watch. there's a little bit of blood you there's a know? little bit of blood and there's the two baby carcasses there yes the, little kids might might find it sad you might yeah you'll see my daughter in there you can see she's not overly exactly concerned but some children may be yes some people might be a little freaked out or grossed out if they you know showing that to their kids or whatever so yeah. for us it's not that big of a deal this family it's farm life farm life that's just the way it is. Okay, so, how about this? So we're I'm gonna ask you the questions that people have asked. Okay. And and then you can answer it the best of your ability because I'm not the goat lady, she's the goat lady. So uh people want, want people wanted to know why would a goat miscarry? So well, what are the reasons that a goat would miscarry? Well, in all reality, um, there's many. Some of them we'll never know. Um, but some of the ones that I know of that I've done a bit of research on is there's different kinds of uh, viral infections that can cause it. Um, there is also moldy hay or dirty hay. Or the fetuses aren't developing properly. Then the mother will automatically abort. Um, it could be if they are in a herd situation and they are uh, bumped and headbutted by other goats that are still intact with their horns. Um, it could be any of those reasons. Mm -hmm. It could also be the, the whole thing of somebody said that it could be the, uh, the cat feces or cat urine that's in the hay. That can cause issues too. Yeah, some sort of infection for, they were saying. Yeah, yeah, something about about the cat urine and it's not very good for them so okay one of the biggest reasons uh, why I think ours uh, miscarried is probably this one is being with the bucks um, yeah because we had Miss Peanut with our two bucks uh, in their shelter because it was getting really cold like we were getting what minus, minus 30s and 40s. 40s at night so because we don't have a shelter for the the female female goats and the male goats we had to put them both together yeah this year so i i think that's probably the biggest reason why she aborted is because she kept getting head butted head butted and, and stuff maybe like got that. some damage done to the babies yeah or... maybe she got head butted once too many times or he really got her good yeah and and that's that right and so this so. year um there's going to be quite a few changes on the homestead here to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen yeah um we're going to be making individual pens for both bucks and females mm -hmm. and having individual shelters yes. i am hoping to get one more to two more female goats this year we'll see what happens throughout the year yeah. Um, but as is, everybody's going to have their own individual shelters where they can stay a bit warmer, especially the females, so they're not getting bugged and headbutted and stuff by the males. Mm -hmm. It's it's better for, for us to keep them separate anyways. Yeah. From what I understand. No accidental breeding. Yeah. Um, one of the biggest things for me is because I like to milk my goats. If you keep a male Ooh. and a female to, together, um, not only can there be accidental breeding, but also um, just being with the bucks will change the flavor of the milk and it will become almost more bitter instead of the normal sweet flavor. So yeah, lots of changes to come on the homestead. Yeah. So mineral deficiency is another... Yes, that is another reason why another it thing. could happen. Um, I don't think that was our case because I do have free yeah. choice minerals 24-7 for them. Yeah. 
So, yeah, I don't think it's that. Because, I mean, we got the big blocks, and you give them extras, minerals in, yeah, their, in, in their, their feed. Yeah, in their feed and everything like that. So, I don't so. think that's what it was for us. Yeah, I but think... But that could be a problem, too. For some other people. Yeah. But all in all, I think it was just being with the bucks is what our problem was. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the biggest problem. So... So we're going to go in and take a look. You okay, Mommy? Yeah. She's just waiting by the door. Yeah. She might have a third one in there. She keeps pushing. Oh, yeah? Here. You ready to start talking? Yeah. So this here is the mama. I came yeah, out to mama. let them out because it's warm today. And hey, we found two dead babies. So... Very, yeah. very sad. Why are you touching that, Mommy? Because <laughs> well, I was just looking. We're looking to make sure Mama's yeah. okay and everything. <laughs> and she's yeah, pretty sad Mama. today. So. What's that, baby? <laughs> well, we don't know. Yeah, we don't we're know pretty yet. sad. She still seems to be pushing a little bit here and there, so she might have one more in there. But by the yeah, looks of these no. little guys... They, she basically... She aborted. Aborted. So, not, not sure why. why. Not, not sure. Hey, Mama. But, one of the sad tragedies. Hey, everybody. So, I figured it's been about two weeks since Miss Peanut um, miscarried her baby. So, I figured it would be a good time to do a little bit of an update. Hey, Peanut. Hey, good, good. So there's Miss Peanut. She seems to be doing all right. Um, for the first few days, she was sad. She was uh, calling out quite a bit. Um, she bagged up quite nicely for me. We've been milking. Um, we get about a cup each time I milk, so it's not bad at all. Um, with her, the only real concern we had after she aborted was the possibility of infection because she has a hard time passing her placenta but within about 24 hours she passed out her entire uh, placenta and all was good well, she seems to be doing well and we have a buck that seems to be going into heat so I may need to move here, her here in the next couple days oh look at that lovely face we have right there isn't that attractive isn't he handsome <laughs> See, everybody wants my attention when I come out to say hi. <laughs> it's always so awkward. Hello. <laughs> so a few reasons why I can talk to your walkie talkie. Yeah, I do my magic. Hey. Um could be infection. I already said that, didn't I? I don't know. The list is right there. All you gotta do is go down the list. <laughs>